everyone, thank you for watching my channel. This is Yasmin, and today I will be traveling from uh, Kyoto to Tokyo with the Shinkansen train. In case you didn't know, Shinkansen is a bullet train, one of the fastest trains in the world. But the thing is, there are actually three types of them, and uh, I want to share with you some facts that I have just learned today uh, to help you not make the same mistakes as I do. We are at McDonald's at the train station because uh, this is all we can afford since we spent all of our money on Shinkansen tickets. Shinkansen is the generic name for the bullet trains here in Japan and there are in fact three types. Uh, one is Nozomi, the fastest train, the second one is Hikari and the last one is Kodama, which is the slowest train. The main difference between them is the speed because uh, the ticket fare doesn't vary so much except for two cases. One if you have JR Pass and if you do, uh, you cannot take Nozomi, you can take just the slowest ones but uh, that will be free, it's included in your JR ticket. And if you buy some discount tickets for Kodama, but uh, you have to do this at least one day before, it will be with uh, around 3000 yen cheap. Nozomi train, which is the fastest one, doesn't have any discount, uh, or at least I don't know. Uh, and uh, it's usually the same price as the others if you don't uh, use this discount that I just told you before. Since we don't have a GR pass because uh, we travel for three weeks and it would have been too expensive for us, and since we don't use uh, the gray gray every day, it didn't make any sense. And also, we couldn't use the Kodama discount tickets because uh, we just learned about that today and you have to buy tickets one day in advance. I'll leave you with the link in the description so you can check about uh, this promotion. We will take Nozomi train, which is a bit expensive for us, but we decided to go for it since it's an experience and uh, we didn't want to uh, spend too many hours in the slow train or bus or whatever options we had. It's still $90. Yeah. We can okay. we can find some money okay. for that, yeah. But still, we have to eat at McDonald's right now because uh, we are on a budget. Balance. So we move fast, but we do the balance on eating. It's yeah. okay. And uh, stay with us to show you how the train looks and uh, everything. Here is the waiting room if your train uh, will arrive uh, in a period of time. But uh, our train will leave in 8 minutes. They are 1 at 30 minutes, 1 at every 30 minutes or so. That's over there, Nozomi. And uh, we have a few more minutes. Where is the platform? Good. Chair. Platform. Ah. says over there that if you don't have reserved seat we have to go to car number one to three and if we miss our train at 12.39 we can take the one at 101 the thing is with these tickets we can take any Nozomi train wow it's here any Nozomi train uh, today if uh, we miss every train today we have to take one tomorrow We are now nervous, we hope we can catch a spot to sit. to find two seats here at car number one. We have a lot of space here. We also put some uh, luggages over there. And uh, we are already moving. The train stayed for one or two minutes in the station. And yeah, now uh, I think we are in a tunnel. <laughs> Shiyokohama, Jiyoji, Sanjiyo, Shiyokohama, Jiyoji, Yonjiyo, Shiyokohama, Jiyoji, Yonjiyo, Shiyokohama, Jiyoji, Yonjiyo, Shiyokohama,
We are now checking the speed with the speedometer on Alex's phone and it seems that we're moving with 270. Pretty fast, huh? Yeah, pretty fast. But which is the fastest? I think 320 we'll measure, or 300? We'll measure all the time. Maximum okay. until now we have 273. But try to, to film we'll outside. We'll keep you updated. This is how it looks at 270. the window because inside it's like I don't know you feel 150 or so yeah. it's okay 284 this is the maximum of seen so far and we changed the seats now we are watching on the left side because maybe just maybe we will spot Mount Fuji because we're too fast I don't know if we'll have time. We are getting cozy. Alex is editing his videos. It's peaceful. We didn't have time to admire the landscape. But still, we can see some mountains over there and it's beautiful. It's enjoyable, but uh, the only downside is that I'm sleepy and I don't want to fall asleep because we will arrive very soon. I don't know why we are so slow. This is how the stuff uh, always uh, says uh, hello and goodbye <laughs> goodbye <laughs> goodbye when they enter the wagon so right now we are going with 240 but uh, it seems that the maximum speed was 290 but we missed that I don't know when it happened we are waiting for 300 or more it's Mount Fuji Wow, so beautiful. Wow, we almost missed it. <laughs> Make sure you stay on the left side of the train if you're coming from Kyoto to Tokyo or on the right side if you're coming from Tokyo to Kyoto. So beautiful. And always with snow. Yes. Wow, so impressive. We are getting very close to Tokyo. Now the scenery has changed, there are a lot of uh, towers and big uh, skyscrapers. Why are those people moving so fast? We have romantic music, I think because uh, we're the trip is coming to an end. Yes. Celebration. Tokyo. Tokyo. 
京浜東北線東北高崎常磐線総武線京葉線東北上越北陸新幹線と地下鉄線はお乗り換えですお降りの時は足元にご注意ください今日も新幹線をご利用くださいましてありがとうございました We will arrive at Tokyo Terminal in a few minutes. We can't believe we arrived. It was so fast. We didn't have time to do anything except to spot Mount Fuji and to edit the cover for a YouTube video, and that was it. Look at the train. Oh my god. Such a futuristic uh, shape. We want to see the train leaving because we didn't have a chance at. Uh, Kyoto because it moved too fast and we had to get in because uh, this is really fast and it only stays in the station usually uh, for less than one minute right now because it changes the direction it uh, stayed for more than five but uh, usually it's pretty fast people are getting in so it's not much until uh, the train will leave Wow, but I can't get enough of this shape. I don't know. I guess so, because when we, when we were in uh, Kyoto, after one minute when we embarked, it left, so... People are running, I guess. It will leave soon. There are people hurrying there. Go, 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 go. The Shinkansen doesn't wait for nobody. And you have to make sure that you get uh, into the right wagon. Because, as I told you, this number one to three are with uh, non-reserved seats. And you also have to be uh, among the first ones to be able to get a spot. But what's with the green trains? They look almost the same, but they have a very special color. Wow. Wow. Maybe that one is even faster because it looks so special. Wow, we have to find out what's with those. here at the station because uh, the trains never stop uh, arriving. We are now uh, in front of two Nozomi trains. There are a lot more over here. Uh, it's very nice to spot trains. Yeah, it's like a expo. <laughs> Good activity, a yeah. Expo show. We just yeah. met with the photographer who was taking pictures of the trains and he had material on and on. Like in 10 minutes a lot of materials. Yeah. But Look at this piece of technology. I mean, this is how the future looks like when we're the present. <laughs> yes, or the present. present. Or the present in other parts. Yeah, it, it was amazing to, to travel with uh, uh, around 250 kilometers per hour. And, uh, yeah, but too fast. Way too fast. <laughs> we couldn't I... realize even that we were, we were very close to pass uh, Fiji mountain and uh, to, to miss it. Yeah, uh, 
uh, the thing is, it's not a proper train experience. It's an experience, but uh, you don't feel that you're in the train because. No. Uh, yeah. You and don't... it was very smooth. I mean. Yeah, very smooth, very fast. Uh, everything went really nice. And uh, now we are already in Tokyo after just two hours. And uh, here it seems that it's winter. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit too winter here. Yeah. But uh, we recommend you do this experience. And don't forget, if you're coming from Kyoto to Tokyo to sit on the left side, maybe you get the chance to see Mount Fuji because that was also like a bonus, huge bonus. Yeah. And uh, for me, it was my favorite part of the experience. For Alex, of course, was the technology part because she's so fascinated about everything. For <laughs> For me, it's uh, convenient to get so easily from one city to another, uh, so fast uh, for such a long distance, and uh, to spot uh, the mountain. Yeah, very nice. Congratulations, Japan, again for this amazing piece of technology. Thank you.